From Bruins to Bobcats, the one and only Haley Berger made it official Monday morning where she put that pen to paper, signing her letter of intent to compete for the renowned Montana State Rodeo team. Berger, the future MSU Bobcat who's been involved with rodeo since the young age of seven. And during all that time in the saddle, she said she's thankful for her parents, coaches, and teammates supporting her each and every step along the way. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's a big step into the future, and there's a lot of opportunity there. They have a great support, so I'm super excited to see where that goes. One of the main factors in her decision was how much Berger truly enjoys the team and family aspects of rodeo competition. I talked to a lot of different coaches and the location was one of my big factors. I'm a homebody so I didn't want to be too far from home. And the opportunities there, the support again, um, also the practice facilities as well as like the team continuity is great. Um, they have a lot of team members so you can learn lots from each other. And for one of the top all around cowgirls in the Pacific Northwest, Berger expressed how thrilled she is just to be able to compete at the college level for the number one ranked Bobcats. I think it's it's exciting to know that it's not like ending yet and that I have four more years to rodeo in an association and then possibly pro rodeo. My end goal is to make the CNFR at some point. I think that it's very doable, especially with the opportunities they have down there and the coaches. The MSU women's rodeo team placed second last year after winning the college national finals rodeo championship in 2021. And with these two new additions coming straight out of Capitol High, including both Berger and fellow Bruins senior Grace Lenhart, their new team rodeo head coach, Mr. Kyle Whitaker, seems eager to get back to and remain in that number one spot. You know, now that we have these recruits signed, we've already shifted our attention to getting ready to, for our spring rodeo, which is April 11th through the 14th in the field house on campus. So that's, you know, that's coming up fast and we're, we're practicing hard working hard trying to get ready for that. First of all, I've always been a Bobcat fan, yeah, okay. so that plays a role into it. Um, it's always been my childhood dream to rodeo for MSU, and just with the success they've had in the past few years has really motivated me to go there. Um, one of my idols is Paige Rasmussen, who rodeoed there and was a college national champion. So to follow in her footsteps is kind of one of my goals. Uh, so we were a family split in two, we're Bobcat and Grizz. Um, I like the team aspect of the team at uh, MSU compared to the club aspect at U of M. But I do appreciate like how it's a team oriented sport there and I do also enjoy the education. From Helena Capital High School, the home of the Bruins, I'm Hayes Bartra reporting for MTN Sports. Go, Go Cats! Cats. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, we, we countdown. Like <laughs>